Welcome back to Yonkers Raceway. It's question and answer time now. And for a question used, a year subscription to Hubrell Magazine and dinner for two at the beautiful Empire Terrace. Karnak the Magnificent, are you ready? <laughs> Put my turban on. Put your turban on. Carol Stanfield from New York City has a four-part toughie. She wants to know, have there ever been any horses that have competed as both harness and flat racers during their career? So far, it's not tough. No. No. No, Carol. A simple no, Carol. Part two, do the offspring of harness horses ever become flat racers or vice versa? Again, no, Carol. Neither... A harness horse can run fast enough to compete in thoroughbred racing, nor can any thoroughbred trotter pace fast enough to be competitive in harness racing. Carol, don't worry, we're not through. Two more parts. Do jockeys ever become drivers or vice versa? Well, jockeys occasionally become drivers. Johnny Longdon out in California some years ago tried it, and Manny Kaza here in New York also tried it. George Scholdy, going the other way, wanted to be a jockey, but he outgrew that in a hurry, and fortunately for harness racing, and unfortunately for thoroughbred racing, he stayed with the harness horses. Okay, part four. Do trainers ever handle harness and flat racers? Yes, they do. As a matter of fact, Frank Tagarello here in New York tried it a few years ago, going both ways. Johnny Chapman's brother Carl was a top-notch uh, thoroughbred trainer. And Bruce Stearns, the noted historian over at Liberty Bell Park, was reminding me when I was talking to him about Tommy Murphy, the Wizard of the Range, who was the leading trainer and driver of harness horses in the first quarter of this century, that Murphy, after he gave up his harness racing career, trained a Kentucky Derby winner and then became a stockbroker in New York and made tons of money after that. Well, thank you, Carol. Now, on to our next question. It comes from Hank Tarlow from Flushing, New York. He says, I was at the track one night when it was announced that one of the horses had been gelded. My question is, does the program show the change, and after how long does a horse have to wait till he can race again? Well, I doubt that he was gelded the night that you heard the announcement. Uh, the PA announcement might have been that he had been a whole horse previously and had been gelded somewhere along the line and was now racing as a gelding. It is unlikely the surgical procedure took place on the night that you were at the track. As to how long they have to wait to come back, that's largely a question of how successful the surgery is. I would say that a month is plenty of time to get them back to the races, at which time their winning might be an octave or two higher, but their temperament might be a little bit better when they get back to the track, and they might be a little bit more manageable. An octave or two higher. Well, thank you Very both positive. for your questions, and if there are some of you folks out there who would like to get in on questions and answers here at Yonkers Raceway, just send those questions to OTB Questions and Answers, that's 1501 Broadway, New York City, New York, and that's 10036. Attention, the marketing department. Coming up, when we come back to Yonkers Raceway, the eighth race, right after this.